All right, so I'm going to make this super quick um, just because it's for me, it's an uncomfortable topic. Uh, Tumad is dead. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tumad was a guy who posted funny videos on the internet like most of us. Um, he kind of blew up over the course of the pandemic. Super funny guy. And then he kind of went down this really weird road of like making inflammatory content or like saying things online that were pretty cringy and also a little weird. Um, I don't know. I mean, he was a little he was a character. Um, but yeah, so the other day he passed away. Um, they, f he was unrespon they found him unresponsive in his apartment. Um, apparently he had like gone dark on social media and everything wasn't responding to anybody. And then finally somebody went to go check on him and they found that he had passed away. He actually OD'd. I don't know the, what substance he was using. Damn, I'm really like gassy. Um, I don't know what substance he was using or anything like that, but unfortunately he did pass away. Um, and, and it sucks. Uh, I do want to like take a second and kind of acknowledge that if anybody's going through anything, reach out to somebody. It really, it really does suck knowing that like his final moments were probably like he had no idea what was going on with himself. His heart was probably racing. He was probably sweating and then just started losing control of his body until finally he passed away. Um, you know, a lot of people who are on some kind of substance don't know how to ask for help. Um, so I would encourage you just reach out to anybody, ask for help, um, before things get out of hand. Um, and you know, maybe something bad, something really bad happens. Uh, you know, there are too many people out there. I feel like a lot of drug users out there don't know how to ask for help or are too embarrassed or ashamed, uh, or even afraid of the reactions, um, you know, of that come with asking for help. Um, just ask for help, man. Find somebody, anybody will help you. You know, anybody who knows you, I mean, even people who don't know you, there's a hotline that you can call in the U.S. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it does, it really does suck. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, get help before it's too late. Um, the next thing I kind of want to talk about relating to his death is the people who are out there like shitting on him minutes after he died, man. Like after the news broke. So many people went public with so much stuff about him, like, oh, he sexually assaulted this person or he attempted to murder that person. And a lot of what I've seen online has just been kind of like, oh, too mad did this. Like, trust me, bro. And or they say that evidence is coming later or they say that, you know, I don't know. It's just it's just been a whole like soliloquy of stuff that's just been coming out. And it really just doesn't even make sense. I think I think it kind of sucks that you waited for the moment that his heart stopped beating or at least what felt like the moment he his heart stopped beating and then you just decided to unleash a fucking shit storm online over his actions a lot of it from what i understand is alleged i have seen like links to like potential evidence um a lot of it has just been links to other tweets of people saying like oh yeah too mad once did this and too mad once you know fucking kicked my cat and like so on and so forth Obviously, like, you know, I'm just kind of coming up with my own examples. He was accused of sexual assault. He was accused of attempted murder. He was accused of making threats, um, things like that, which these are not light crimes. These are not light allegations. Like if he was still with us, you know, this is these are very these are career like life damaging allegations. It's pretty bad. Um, it definitely does suck to kind of see everybody just like unleash a shitstorm. I'm going to go over it and read through it and formulate, I guess, a new opinion if I, if, I, if I find anything that's convincing enough. I mean, generally what I look for is like DMs, you know, screenshots, or if I look for video evidence, obviously pictures, just something other than like, oh yeah, uh, one time back in 2022, he threatened to kill me. And it's like, okay, but I need evidence of this, pal. I can't just take your word on it. I'm pretty weird when it comes to like speaking ill of the dead. Uh, you know, even somebody like Jerry Krause for the Bulls. I'm not his biggest fan in the world, but still, I mean, I don't like to speak ill of the dead. Even after I saw the Jordan documentary, it just does. It just rubs me the wrong way when people do that, when they not only speak ill of the dead, but when they like unleash all these allegations after the person have has passed away. I think there's I think if things were serious, if things were, you know, if this was something that was actively happening, release it to the public don't wait for the person to be gone because by, by then what are we going to do like fucking spit on his grave and it seems like that's what a lot of people are doing right now and uh and it kind of sucks but 
like I said, this is just going to be short. I just kind of wanted to get an upload out there. Um, you know, rest in peace, uh, too mad. And, um, I mean, I'm going to do, do some more reading into the allegations. If they're true, man, then damn. I mean, I read one that said that he was a, uh, like he was basically a pedophile. And again, if that's true, dude, maybe don't rest in peace. But anyways, that's it. See ya.